The Merrill twins are hypocrites about racism. So with the current social climate, I, climate, I feel that it's important um, to bring this up. So your post for Blackout Tuesday on the Maryland, uh, the Merrill Twins Instagram was beautifully worded. Um, what do you think we as a country and a society can do to better ourselves and bring a positive change to the world? Um, well, thank you. For thank one. you. Uh, honestly, I think, there's so much that we could do. But I think the number one important thing we can do is just educate people. Mm -hmm. I've, I've always said that we're so quick to just judge people when we don't know if they've been educated correctly. So I always say before we judge someone in their actions, educate, just talk, have an honest conversation and do it in a nice way. We don't need to ridicule people and teach people in a mean way. That's the opposite of what Black Lives Matter is. We need to just be kind and show love. And I think it starts with just education. You know, I've said that with this generation, we're so well aware of what's going on. And there's a lot of people that still need to learn what is correct and what's wrong. But I think with our generation and the younger, I think we'll be able to see in the future a generation that is more accepting and loving. Oh, yeah, for sure. But it just all comes down to just educating and just being kind and showing people, hey, you know, it's one thing to say that's racist, but it's another thing to say that's racist because, and here's what you should do to you fix, fix it. Yeah. You know, I always compare it to like bullying. Like there's so many bullying campaigns that say stop bullying, but how are we going to stop bullying if we don't teach what is bullying and what is the right way to not bully or, you know, all that. So same with Black Lives Matter, to teach what racism is, we have to point it out specifically and call people out and teach them and just educate and just say, hey, stop doing that because you're hurting others. It's not good. Yeah. So obviously not everyone is as easy to talk to. No. So it is, it, choose your battles. <laughs> yeah, you definitely <laughs> have honest. to choose your battles. And again, you know, once you educate and you've done your part, if someone decides to keep, you know, saying racist things or being just an, a mean person, then they've, they've showed you their true colors and you either move on from that person and just, mm -hmm. you know, just take them out of yeah. your life. We always talk about, um, when you talk to like people about stuff like just planting a seed. So no matter what happens with certain people, at least you're planting a seed in their mm -hmm. head. Mm -hmm. And it may not be you who helps it grow. Maybe it has to be themselves that grows that seed into something better. Yeah, there's, you, yeah, you just never know what your impact is going to make. And that's just on anything, like just being kind to someone, um, just giving a compliment. You just never know what that's going to do for someone. Um, so yeah, we definitely think, I think the most important thing is just to keep talking about Black Lives Matter and to talk about, you know, that racism is still a thing. People like to pretend that it's not, but it definitely still is. And, you know, there's just so many things that people need to be educated on. So I think that's how we're going to slowly fix the problem because we can't do it overnight. But with time, I think we can fix the problem just by, you know, in the education system and teaching our peers. They say here, just tell the person this is racist because and they will be educated. But how many times have we told them what they were doing is racist, and they still continued to do it? They're such hypocrites. They're such hypocrites. How fake are they? They're preaching against racism, but they're the ones who are racist. But I think the number one important thing we can do is just educate people. Mm -hmm. I've, I've always said that we're so quick to just judge people when we don't know if they've been educated correctly. So Okay. So she said people need to be educated before others get mad at them, but she said back in 2018, that she educated herself on Asian discrimination and racism. Here it is. And I've taken it upon myself to educate myself about a lot of different cultures and what people have gone through and stuff. And I do realize that there have been things I said that could have been taken offensive. We've taken Asian American studies. I classes. took I took Asian. Oh, 
As did I. We had, but we had oh, two, we had two completely, completely different, different ones. That was my second choice. And we learned a lot from that, you know, just with what people have to deal with here in America, not just Asian Americans. You know, when I took that class, that's when I really realized a lot of things, even about myself, in liking K-pop and all this stuff. And it's just really, really sad. Like, I learned in college that Asian Americans get treated terribly. That it, we, you know, we've learned. We've learned so many things. So they educated themselves and learned what they did was wrong. So why, one week after the video came out, are they still were racist? Here you go. Where? Um, the premiere was amazing. Thank you very much. That was one week, one week, right after their fake apology video. Where? Um, the premiere was amazing. Thank you very much. What does your jumper sing, Nessa? That's a great question. I don't really know what it says, to be honest. How is she going to say? Don't judge or be mad at the person when they may not be educated, but you all were educated and you're still racist. But I think the number one important thing we can do is just educate people. Mm -hmm. I've, I've always said that we're so quick to just judge people when we don't know if they've been educated correctly. So to teach what racism is, we have to point it out specifically and call people out and teach them and just educate and just say, hey, Stop doing that because you're hurting others. It's not good. I did that. I made over 10 videos doing that. But you still did it. Here's more of their racism after December 7th, 2018. Mr. Sandman, bring me a The shrine. <laughs> oh, and then it's um, the shrine for what? <laughs> oh, for who? <laughs> for just my... for shrine stuff. Just general, just... just general shrining. Yeah, just general. <laughs> and if you go here, bamboo trees are growing. Oh yay, bamboo! They're growing. Yay! Yay! So this is my bamboo guy. What kind of art do you got going on in here? Don't listen. Don't judge. If you guys want to see why any of these are racist, go watch my Meryl Twins Racist Compilation Explanation Part 3. As you can see, all dates were all after December 7, 2018. Even some they did, after their spiel on BLM movement. So how do we deal with people like yourselves, the Meryl Twins, who keep doing racist things, after being told and educated? So how do we deal with people who don't listen even after being told? Vanessa Merrill. Yeah. So obviously not everyone is as easy to talk to. No. So it is, it, choose your battles. <laughs> yeah, you definitely to have honest. to choose your battles. And again, you know, once you educate and you've done your part, if someone decides to keep, you know, saying racist things or being just an, a mean person, then they've they've showed you their true colors and you either move on from that person and just Mm -hmm. You know, just take them out of yeah. your life. If someone decides to keep, you know, saying racist things or being just an, a mean person, then they've, they've showed you their true colors. I guess the Merrill twins have showed us their true colors. They are and still will always be racist. They said it themselves. You heard it. They didn't change. You all saw it. So they showed us their true color. And that color is racist. They were literally talking about themselves, saying pick your battles because not everyone is going to listen that is literally themselves. They are the ones that don't listen, and are still being racist. So they literally talked about themselves. Shake my effing head. I just want to add in this part real quick to show their true colors even more. You know, I always compare it to like bullying. Like there's so many bullying campaigns that say stop bullying. 
but how are we going to stop bullying if we don't teach what is bullying and what is the right way to not bully or, you know, all that? How do you not know what is bullying? How does a person not know what actions makes a bully? I guess it relates back to this video where she admits she was a bully herself. To, we, we, should, we should stop telling people stop bullying. We need to... No, listen. Instead, we need to say, this is what it means to be a bully. And if you are doing any of these things, you are considered a bully and you need to stop. Because at this point, what is considered bullying? There are a ton of things that are considered bullying. And we, people don't know. There is not one single person who has never been a bully. Or no, every single person has been a bully at least once in their entire life. You have been mean to someone and that is being a bully. Like if you've made fun of someone or if you've even just like uh, criticized someone or like talked bad about someone to someone else, that's, all, that's what being a bully is. Um, like we've all been a bully even if it's, it hasn't been actually towards someone to actually hurt them in person or like online, you know? Because like I've, I've definitely made fun of someone before. You have too. You've made fun of me a lot. <laughs> all of us, even the person that said they had never been a bully, all of us have been a bully at some point in our lives. We have said something mean to someone. We've made fun of someone, whether it was to someone else or in our own like like personal time. Like we've all made, we've all been a bully. And what I think bullying like uh, campaigns and programs don't do good at or don't do well enough is teaching people if you do this that is being a bully if you say this if you comment this on someone's picture if you uh take a screenshot and send it to someone saying oh well look at this weirdo that is bully or like do you know what i mean but like i I promise you everyone's been a bully and you can deny it all you want but I pr promise you you've made fun at least of one person in your life or you've hurt at least one person's feelings like everyone's been there everyone's done it we all need to just know what it means to be a bully and not say stop Bob. stop yeah, bullying. It's good. Yeah. I also want to encourage everyone because everyone is uh, a bully sometime in their life that just to make sure to look at yourself and make sure to ask yourself the hard question am I being nice to others because at one point in your life you were a bully and so we all just need to be mindful of what we say and our actions towards others yeah she obviously doesn't know what bullying is because she was a bully herself which she admitted just like with racism she doesn't know what racism is because she's racist but she actually does know what bullying and racism is she's just pretending she doesn't so that she can make the excuse that she did those things but didn't realize it was bullying or racist that's why when her dad was racist she was able to tell that he was being racist do another do italian can you do italian wait, wait who's going to what's the matter with you well pizza pasta pizza pizzeria uh, my name is the Pizza Mario Kart. <laughs> Mario Kart. Mario Kart. That's right. My name is Mr. Uh, Do you know my name? My name is Italian. So she knew good and well what racism is, but only pretended not to know when she was racist, so she wouldn't be guilty of being a racist but just didn't know and wasn't educated. But too bad there's proof that she knew what racism is, or else how would she know her own dad was doing something racist if she didn't know what racism was? So she knew, they knew what racism was, they were just pretending they didn't so they wouldn't be seen as racist, but they are racist so their plan didn't work. And the fact that she calls everyone a bully, if you don't know what a bully is, then how can you confidently say that everyone is a bully, if you don't even know what bullying is? Do you guys see the contradiction? Well, I could... I promise you everyone's been a bully and you can deny it all you want but I pr promise you you've made fun at least of one person in your life or you've hurt at least one person's feelings like everyone's been there everyone's done it we all need to just know what it means to be a bully and not say stop Bob. stop yeah, bullying. how are you saying that everyone is a bully but say that you don't know what bullying is which shows that she does indeed know what bullying is that's why she can call out people and say that everyone's a bully. Because you can't call someone something that you don't know, so she knows, she's just pretending she doesn't, 
Just like how she pretends she didn't know what racism is. Shake my head. And FYI, Vanessa Merrill, not everyone has been a bully. Don't use that word everyone so that you can feel better about yourself, and justify why you are a bully. There does exist people in the world who have never been a bully, so don't use the word, everyone so loosely, just so you don't feel bad and guilty because you know yourself, that you are a bully. That's sad, and obviously shows you are a bully, making it seem that everyone is a bully, when that is not true, and you know that. How pathetic. Just to ease your own bullying, you try to accuse everyone of being one too. How pathetic. Just admit you yourself were a bully, you don't have to pull others into it. Shake my effing head. Okay, let's get back to their hypocrisy. So their excuse for not knowing what being racist is, and what a bully is, is because they aren't educated. But you were educated, so what's the excuse now? And I've taken it upon myself to educate myself about a lot of different cultures and what people have gone through and stuff. And I do realize that there have been things I said that could have been taken offensive. We've taken Asian American studies I classes. Took, I took Asian. Oh, as did I. We had, but we had oh, two, we had two completely, completely different, different. That was my second choice, and we learned a lot from that. You know, just with what people have to deal with here in America, not just Asian Americans. You know, when I took that class, that's when I really realized a lot of things, even about myself, in liking K-pop and all this stuff. And it's just really, really sad. Like, I learned in college that Asian Americans get treated terribly. That it, we, you know, we've learned. We've learned so many things. So you educated yourself, but why are you still racist towards Asians? Why are you still appropriating our culture? They're such hypocrites, sitting there preaching how not to be racist, but they're the ones who's racist themselves. What hypocrites? Remember this, they showed us all their true colors, words from their own mouth. If someone decides to keep, you know, saying racist things or being just an, a mean person, then they've, they've showed you their true colors. They've, they've showed you their true colors. There you go, straight from her own mouth, by still being racist after educating themselves. They've showed us all, their true colors, which is, they're racist, and will always be. 